welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in I've decided I wanted to try the 100 baby challenge I've done this several times before in the past but never as a video for all of my long-term simmers I'm sure you know what the 100 baby challenge is you probably even played it yourself for any and all of my newbies out there as the name of the challenge suggests the goal is to have 100 babies with as few matriarchs and as and in as little time as possible in the description below I will link the like rules for it that I found online as I said I've done this several times before so I don't really need the rules I was looking over it though because recently we've gotten infants into the game which is a new life state that we didn't have before before it was way easier because You'd have the baby in the bassinet and then they'd age up into a toddler and it's like boom level three and all your skills and then they can age up. Now we have infants and infants in The Sims 4 are so glitchy and frustrating to play with if I'm honest. Not because they're like so challenging it's so difficult it's just it's so freaking glitchy. Your sim does not do what you tell it. They'll like pick it up and put it down pick it up and put it down so it's annoying. Um. I do not have the Growing Together pack, so I can't play with Milestones because Milestones are not a base game feature. I saw online somewhere that once you have your infant try all of the foods, you can age them up. So that's the way I'm going to be playing. And then all the other rules are the same. You can age up your toddler once they reach level 3 in all the skills. You can raise up your kid when they reach an A in school. Same with teens. Um, and then once they are a young adult, you can move them out of your house. But they cannot be moved back in once they're moved out. Enough with the dilly dally. Let's hop into it. I'm gonna try to build my own house. This is my sim. Her name is uh, Bianca. <laughs> Bianca Rhodes. She's a young adult. This is her first day. We moved into Oasis Springs and I did build this house. I can put it on the gallery if anyone's interested. It's not that great and it's not really big. It's kind of just to start out. So just has like the basic necessities. I did do the like personality trait quiz whatever to get her traits and aspirations and stuff and she is actually employed as an athlete however I don't want her to have a job and part of the challenge you can't have a job anyway so we're gonna go ahead and quit that well she's doing that let me see who's around hello isn't this a mermaid I think so that's fine. We don't discriminate. I feel like the majority of this episode is really just going to be speed running. Oh, you know what I didn't even think about? This is actually going to be so hard because since the last time I've done the 100 baby challenge, there's been a lot more updates to the game. Like the infant update for one. But also, I don't really know how to describe it, but I guess gender and sexual orientation, I guess would be the best way to describe it. That's been added to the game recently. I don't really know how to describe it, but before in the game you couldn't choose your pronouns or choose whether you wanted your sim to be romantically interested in men and women or to be interested in just men or just women or just like no one at all. Like you couldn't do that before. Um... So with that being added, because like before, basically every sim in town, they didn't care. They were like down for whatever, even if they were married. Like Jeffrey Landgraf, he's a cheater. It was so easy to get him to. <laughs> anyway, with pronouns and orientations being added to the game, it's going to be harder because now it's like you get a pop up where it's like, oh, I'm flattered, but I'm not interested in you that way. I wouldn't mind being your friend. Narcos, Speaking yes, of Jeffrey. Sir. Did you see him just jog past? Oh, 
Let's get this thing started. He's single. And I've decided we don't have to be like besties. But like, if he's down and I'm down, then you know, whatever. We already got some romance. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Not the welcome wagon. Who even is it? Judith Ward. Judith Ward! Does Judith Ward live in Oasis Springs? No, she doesn't. Does she? I don't know, but I'm sorry, Judith. We're kind of busy. What do you say? Don't get on your phone. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. I thought that was going to be a bad sign. No! What do you mean you should get going? No, no, no. What do you mean? What do you mean? No, 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 no. We, we did not just talk to you for an hour for you to just walk away. Burn to death! Dude, no way. We literally just got here. Well, maybe if she hurries up, she'll be fine. Okay, that's not good. I don't even think I bought... I didn't. I did not buy a thermostat. I forgot we were in the spring, and it's summertime. I really set myself up for failure. Who's this? Johnny Zest? Well, hello, neighbor. This is good. Glad the welcome wagon came. Okay, so we have our romance high enough where we can just invite him over and get things on and pop in. Oh, <gasps> no, Johnny left. Wait. He's back? Uh, let's ask if he's single. First kiss. First kiss. Oh, I just thought about it. Yeah, see, I was playing on short lifespan in my other game. I have to play on normal lifespan on this game, for obvious reasons. Okay, okay. Oh gosh. This looks promising. Oh, wait, she's glitching. She's walking through walls. Okay. Okay. I love this wallpaper. I can never have it in my own room because it's just too much, but very cute. Break out the candles and make it romantic. Bianca's about to woohoo for the first time. It's not even five o'clock, baby. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Don't play with a toy. Let's go. Oh, did it pause the game? Woo! She's pregnant! Eating for two. Johnny, you're gonna be a father. What do you think? I guess he's happy with it. I don't know. Hello? That's fine. Oh wait, but that one's cuter. Alright, well, thanks Johnny. Um, uh, you can leave whenever you want. But if you want to stay, that's fine too. Uh, I'm gonna make a salad. So, yeah. Eating for two. Second trimester in 24 hours. Well, I think for the rest of the day, it would be a best bet to meet as many guys as we can. Like, we already know Pake? Pake? I don't know how to pronounce his name. And I'm pretty sure he's a mermaid. So one of our kids might be a mermaid. Which is a fine. I'm not opposed to having occult children. I think we eat, take a nap, and then head to the nightclub? Or maybe in the gym. Let's go to the gym, because she's active. I think it would be a good investment to get a computer. Even if it's a cheap one. I think it'll be a good investment because then we can start writing like children's books. <laughs> Let's even get started on our first book. Oh, 
I low-key wish I had an MC command center to just force her into pregnancy. Because I'm just sitting here thinking about it. I'm like, bruh. It's not even the end of day one and we're already pregnant. But now we just have to wait until the baby comes. Oh, yeah. so. oh also, forget what I said about going to the nightclub. Or to the gym. It's not happening. Maybe in the morning. Oh no, she burnt out. Writer's block. Oh, okay, well. She's like self-sufficient. I don't even have to tell her what to do. She's like, I'm tense. I'm going to go take a bubble bath. And you know what? I love that for you. Oh, she's tired. Makes sense. We did have her pull an all-nighter. It's her first night here. Or, it's her first week here. This is day two. This is day two. And we've had her almost die. <laughs> from burning to death. And we've had her pull an all-nighter. But she's like killing these skills. She's doing great for herself. I'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow. <sighs> okay, we'll go. But we're not really going to hang out or talk to you. We're going to meet people. <laughs> Please don't be raining. Of course it's raining. How did I know? Because it's always raining here. Morning sickness. Well, the first guy I see is Jeffrey. Let's say hi. It's Jeffrey in booty shorts. Well, wait a minute. He has piercings? Oh my gosh. Jeffrey, what are you wearing? You have two nose piercings, an eyebrow piercing, and you're wearing booty shorts? Okay, if we're gonna have a baby by Jeffrey Langlarab, we're gonna have to be his friend first. Like, we have to have a good relationship. I'm not trying to, like, have him divorce Nancy. She can keep him. But in order to, like, have the flirting and stuff go successfully, we have to have, like, a, a good friendship. Like, we have to actually be friends. So, any sim that's married, really, we're gonna have to, like, really work for it. Oh, <gasps> Kayla! Hey! I unironically love Kayla Bator. I think he's actually kind of cute with his little butt chin so again I'm not opposed to having occult children what you're gonna see here is just our attempts to meet as many men as possible in order to get um, a good head start in the challenge our sim is pregnant so we took care of her needs a little bit we used the bathroom we got some food and then other than that we really just introduced ourselves to any and every male sim that we saw just so that we can know them the longer our roster right now the better off we'll be later on all right well now let's go home it's 2 30 in the morning we did all that we wanted to do i think we talked to like five people and we're not really friends with them but we at least know them now, so we can invite them over. Well, lady, wait a minute, didn't, wasn't it just two in the morning? There's not time zones in The Sims, is there? Hi, it's me editing, and I'm literally crying and screaming and throwing up. I, <laughs> I have no memory at all of me saying, are there time zones in The Sims? Like, as I was editing and I, like, saw the difference, I was like, wait a minute, and I, like, left the comment. And then I'm like, continue watching it, and I literally said verbatim the same thing. Stop it. Get some help. The gasp that came out of my mouth is so crazy! That's a silly question. Of course there's not. Is it too late to invite over Marcus? It's- Wait, it just jumped up! Did it not? Dude, I'm losing my mind. I could have sworn it said 2.30 when I left the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Or maybe I'm just making it up. I don't know, man. Let's go to bed.